Good morning, afternoon, evening, or good night, depending on where in the world and what time you're watching this. This is Andy with Rider Hub Online, and in this video, just going to quickly demonstrate uh, how to do some rapid editing. We have shown this before, but in sort of feature length videos where we've been doing other things. So, just want to do a quick video just talking about this because one or two people are struggling. So, this is how I do a quick tidy up, and this is why I use Microsoft Word. And I am using the Mac version in this instance. It is slightly different in Windows, uh, but I'm sure either you'll find it or you can, maybe Kirk can do another video and show specifically the Windows variations on this. Uh, but I'm a Mac user. First thing I always do is get rid of that word. Eventually we'll get that taken out automatically, I'm sure, because I don't think anyone ever wants that word there. But it's always there at the moment. I get rid of that. Select this one. I change this title. It's the only title in the book. I can also quickly tweak the formatting of this if I want to. And then I whack a page break in, which is command enter on a Mac, control enter on Windows. Now I want to get into fixing up these headings real quick because now I will say in the Windows version of this, when you load these into Word, these look great. When you load them into Mac, the default for heading for the that these things are huge uh, so anyway i normally i select one of these and what the people are what you want to look for is a thing called styles pane now i'm on the home tab in word so i've got the home ribbon with, with my fonts and everything else i've got my star selectors here next to it i've got one that says styles pane and if i click on that it brings up this little sidebar menu and a button on there says select tool so what this is doing, if I selected a piece of text, this is selecting all based on the current style. So if I hit select all, that will now have selected, if I scroll down, I can show you, all of the chapter and sub chapter headings. So now what I can do is two things. One, I can change those and say, right, make those heading one. I could also decide that I want to slightly change the formatting. I don't want it because my default is blue and whatever else. So I can now change this. I can make this like this, make it bold, make it black. And now, in case I want to do any other headings in this thing later on, I can now say update this star select to match this current selection. Now, anything that I highlight and mark as heading one will be in exactly that format. Then we come down to these, which are the sort of subheadings. And now we select all on those. And I'm going to make those heading two. And I'm also going to make those black. And I think I'm going to bold them as well. I think they look good bold. That's how you do the styles with the star selector. Once you're beyond that, the next thing to do is obviously take out unnecessary white space and as you've seen in other videos, so I'm not going to spend long on it here. My favorite trick is twofold. One is in my editing, I really only delete. I don't want to get into rewriting. I can't be bothered to get into rewriting. So typically what I do is I scan read the whole book. So let's just whiz up to the top, uh, which is command and home, I think it is, or control home on Windows. Crushing the competition, that's my title page, right? So normally this first bit is uh, that's all OK. I'm just scan reading this really, really quickly and I'm just looking out. Now, what I do personally is I take out one point. It's just a personal preference. You don't have to do it. There is method behind my madness. Uh, and then what we want to do is kill off this white space and bring this one up and do the same there. Now, part of the reason I want to do this is occasionally I get rid of the subheading like in this case it makes sense to leave it in but this introduction it's not a chapter i know it always calls it a chapter we've done everything and make it try and say sub chapter and it's still insists on calling it chapter but i normally just change this to something like now we will delve into the power of visual content blah, blah, blah. so that's fine my one trick that I tend to do on these, when you've got a lot of short paragraphs with a lot of headings, one of my favorite tricks is actually just to get rid of some of them. Because this will still read perfectly well. And it just makes the, the book look a little bit more natural. Uh, 
And then this is kind of a repeat and a summary. So I would probably just get rid of the heading on that. And let it summarize that. And then we're into a 1.3. So again, anything that's not a totally new chapter, I bring up onto the same page. I'm going to take out the 1.3. Now, I am going to point out a couple of things. It is possible if you're an advanced word user, I have started writing a macro to do this for me. And when I get it exactly how it's working, we'll, we'll maybe try and share that macro with others. Uh, but for right now, don't need a macro because I'm, I just keep it really, really simple. Uh, I sometimes just take out these, so grab your popcorn. I'll just take out some of those little lines. And again, here I'm going to leave all the headings. Uh, I might just kill off that. And the other thing I look out for is when it quotes experts, I'm sorry, this name clearly is not a real name. This is something AI has hallucinated, made up. And it never puts in like original. It's always John Smith, Jane Doe, John Doe, uh, things like that. So I normally change these. Now, I do one of two things. If it's just a good quote, I could just take that out and say it was said by a video marketing expert. It doesn't matter, right? The other thing I can do is I can go and look up proper quotes online and take the time to paste them in. And I have done that in some of my books. If it's something very generic, then, you know, I just I might just make the name sound like more of a real name. So let's uh, change the name to Jane Dillinger. Um, and that's really it. The other thing I look out for is some of the opening paragraphs are normally quite samey. Uh, so I quite often will just chop out little bits of it like that. Uh, what exactly makes me? How do you know? That's all actually quite good. It's normally the first and last paragraph of an article that needs a tweak, if anything, of a of a subset. And then, as always, I'm going to do it. So you get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything special. I'm doing it as quick as I can. When I've done all of that, I was up to the top. I, I paste in my copyright notices, my Who logo with my um, QR code. We've done a video on how to do that. And then the only other thing I do when I've done all of that is I create a table of contents. So that I go beginning of chapter one, force a page break with command enter or control enter in Windows. Come up here. And if you don't know where to find table of contents, it is bleh. I just go to the tell me tab and I type in insert table contents. And there it is. And I'm just going to pick one and go insert. Yeah, that's fine. There's my table of contents done. Job done. Uh, hi, Kurt. Would you like Good to share? To would you like to share the same thing I've just done? I've covered it in the Mac version of Word, but obviously sure. Windows is slightly different. So I'm going to present screen inner screen and i am on a windows 11 and i am using let me see what exactly what version it should show me here i'm using office 365 that's what i'm using that's what i purchased that's what i'm using so i'm going to come back home and what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to highlight this right here then i'm going to click on select Select all text with similar formatting, no data. So you see how this is different from the Mac version. The Mac version actually has put a paint, a thing called Styles Paint. Windows doesn't. And some of the earlier Mac versions, if you're running an earlier version, it will be like this. Right. Right. So then you just select it and then choose what you want. This one's already heading one. So, and if we look, we're going to see all the heading ones are now highlighted. And then... I'm just going to click here, highlight this one, select, select all text with similar formatting, and it's selecting all the ones that are already H2. It is really, really that simple on a, on a, as long as you're using a newer version of Word. If you're using an old version of Word, uh, I would check to give some up. To give some perspective on editing, most of the books that I have published so far I have spent no more than 30 minutes on that edit right? and tidy up. Uh, exceptions to the rule. The book that you see me promoting at the moment by pen name Boris Tory, which is obviously a, a deliberate pen name, that one I actually spent about an hour on because 
what I did with that, and I will make a separate video about this because this is a good trick for how to get what you want out of, of AI. But I needed to, that book to write in a negative style, in a style of demolishing a nation. And AI naturally keeps trying to be positive. So it kept putting paragraphs in about, this is why understanding this is so important so we can fight back against tyrannical government. I just deleted those paragraphs. So the whole book reads how it does. And people have asked how I did it. That's it. The truth is I let it write what I wanted and I deleted the bits I didn't want. I didn't right. The only thing in that book that I wrote was the introduction. Because I went, oh, I can just write a funny introduction and it's less than a page. Right. I wrote that myself. That wasn't AI. The rest of that book is largely AI with bits deleted. And a couple of times I found places where it said something negative, blah, 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 which we have to, and I just changed it to, which is something we must capitalize on or some equally cronyistic view of looking at it. So that's how I did that book. That's how you can make who do with a little bit of tweaking you might not get able to get who to write it exactly how you want but in that case that book took me about an hour of editing but look at it it's now number one in psychology and some that's a harder group to crack that actually mm -hmm. has it wasn't massively hard but i think i needed 14 15 sales or something to get anywhere near and i'm number one i'm number two in another couple of categories and i deliberately put that in categories that weren't i only needed one or two to make number one because i wanted to to take this to the next level let's go now i haven't gone for a massive category that that would but this was my next step i can break an easy category now let's go for one that takes a bit more breaking that's going to take a few more sales to get there and that's what I'm doing. But what I've also and found could, is... That, the sale is also a free book. If you give away a book for free using oh, the sale. promo, yeah. it's a sale. So, also, because this book is kind of amusing, kind of political mm. satire -y, kind of whatever else, I've shared it on my Facebook wall. Hope that's helped with the word <laughs> stuff. See you next time. <laughs>